if you start on, say, just your guitar part and the vocal part, and then build the other instruments on top of it, or do you have the whole thing on piano and then orchestrated? Or um, it depends. The way I've written has evolved a lot too over the past couple of years because I have done a lot more like studio production in my own personal home studio. I mean, originally when I started writing, I always, um, it, it comes two ways. It either, it, a lot of times I just hear melodies, I'm not with a, an instrument, I'm just walking down the street and hear a song all of a sudden. Um, and then I'll like record it on my iPhone and then go do something with, with it once I can be somewhere where it's not like embarrassing to sit down and have to write a song. Um, and then sometimes I'll just be playing around on a guitar and, or piano. I mean, I don't really play piano very well, but I play around on it enough to like write with it. Um, and so sometimes it'll come from the chord changes on the instrument and then the melody and lyrics will come from there. Um, but I think with the more recent songs I've been, I used to not hear other instrumentation for the songs, and I really let the other the people I was playing with fill that in more. And these guys both do that. I don't think I've ever taught Casey a guitar part. <laughs> he, he makes them his own and makes the songs a lot better than they are originally. Uh, even songs that I have recorded and I do have parts for already, um, when it's a new band and new people that you're playing with, it almost, it, it's more fun to let them try out something different. And if it doesn't work, then you just say, that's not working, let's try something different. Um, but a lot of times it can really kind of reinvent the song and, and put a lot more new life into it. Especially if it's a song that you've been playing for a little while, it's cool to see what what comes out of it when other people, you know, put their, their prints on it as well. Now.